Hi, I'm Jerome Rawson. I teach production and arranging 210 here at Pyramind. It's a class where students use their composition and production skills to write for film clips, video game levels, um, could be trailers or advertising. Um, today we're going to talk about building tension in chase scenes. I'm going to give you some tips on how to keep things interesting, and I'm going to show you how you can structure your own file. We're going to watch a clip from The Bourne Supremacy. Matt Damon plays Jason Bourne, and he's being chased through the streets of Moscow. We're going to watch this through without music first. If you've never done this for a chase scene, or any film clip for that matter, it's pretty compelling. First of all, this could be likely what the composer gets. So sometimes there's no sound design, sometimes there's a little bit of sound design, but this is what they have to work with. So this could either inspire you or intimidate you. So depending on which, um, give it some time. The other thing you're going to notice, it's quite underwhelming without any music. There's really no emotion. Like we see action happening, but there's no context at all. So let's go back and check this out with some music. What we'll hear is that the track is built around a driving rhythmic foundation of a drum kit. This continually propels the track forward. This leads us to tip number one. Keep the rhythm moving at all costs. Composer John Powell does a good job of bringing in elements and taking them out again. Sometimes it's an orchestral trill figure, an arpeggiated line, some brass, or a legato string passage. Most importantly, he brings those phrases and instruments out again. Tip number two, bring interesting elements in and don't forget to bring them out. When we see Bourne and Krill lock eyes, that's our first emotional shift. Up to now, the audience understands there's a chase between two cars, but now the chase is between two people. Now, it's personal. That's a musical moment. That's a great place for brass. Now keep in mind, with the full mix, there's a ton of sound design happening. We've got tire squeals, impact crashes, engine revs. Those are all essential to our understanding of what's happening on screen. Sometimes the music is reacting to how busy the sound design, sometimes just to what's happening on screen. Tip number three, vary the intensity level based on what's happening on the screen, rather than just randomly. Now, the music changes a little bit after, we, after they go through the tunnel. It's not right at the tunnel. This gives the audience a chance to sense the change, but it's not right at the tunnel. In animation, we change exactly when something happens. That's called Mickey Mousing. But here, it's a little bit more subtle. And notice, while the music is exciting, it's not always at level 10 intensity. It's not always at its most exciting. That'd be way too much. It would cover what's happening with the sound design. So this leads us to two more tips. Tip number four, repetition's good. Use it, but nothing over about three more or so times. Avoid cutting and pasting the same figure for too long. And tip number five, use short phrases so the track can be flexible. So you have the opportunity to bring elements in and out. This way you won't have to wait 16 bars for your cool part to finish. Okay, I want to show you how you can put your own track together. I put this together in Logic using the same structure that John Powell did. This is a sketch. Let me show you what I did. So I'm starting with a simple rhythm track. I'm bringing some elements in here. I'm varying things based on what's happening with the screen. So we can just guess that I would do this if this was added to screen. There's some brass. So now I kept some of the elements out here. I took them back out. There's a second repetition of that phrase. Here comes a third repetition. changes a little bit. So let me summarize the five tips. Number one, keep the rhythm moving at all costs. Tip number two, bring interesting elements in and don't forget to bring them out. Tip number three, 
Vary your intensity level. Do it based on what's happening on the screen rather than randomly. Number four, repetition is good. It's your friend. But over three more times, maybe it's too much. Tip number five, use short phrases so the track can be flexible so you don't have to wait 16 or so bars for your cool part to come in. I'm Jerome Rossin. Thanks for watching Pure Mind. For more ideas like this, please subscribe to our channel. If you're a music producer, subscribe to our channel and stay up to date on the latest Pure Mind tutorial videos, track breakdowns, elite sessions, and more. Visit us at puremind.com.